Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we're gonna design an animated responsive header. So first of all, let me show you a demo of what we're gonna design. Here is our header and uh, we have two sections over here. First of all, we have this logo and then we have the now items and here we also have a search icon and uh, some social media icons. When we click on the search icon, we get this search bar right here and we can type anything over here and uh, when we click on it again it goes back now when we scroll down we can see that the header goes up and uh, after we have scrolled down a certain height we can see that it comes back but in a different layout we have the logo here then and then we have the search icon and the social media icons we can also click search over here and uh, this stays right here it is fixed on the top so if you scroll down it doesn't disappear and uh, when we go up to a certain height we can see that the header goes up and uh, here we have the header again so this is the desktop version of our animated header now let me show you the mobile version so this is the mobile version of our uh, animated header and uh, when we click on this icon over here we see these uh, menu items and when we click on it again it goes back and uh, if we click on this search icon we get this search box and uh, we can search for whatever we want over here and if we click on this icon again we can see that the search box stays there but we have this menu items and uh, we can turn off the search box and we can hide the menu by clicking on this button over here this whole header element and uh, this header element both are the same we are just changing the layout using CSS flexbox so with that being said let's get started I'm gonna divide this video into three parts where in the first video we're gonna write the markup and in the second video we're gonna write the styles and in the third video we're gonna add uh, the JavaScript so let's get started by writing the markup i have my project opened up in my vs code code editor and uh, i have three files over here index.html main.js and style.css and i also have an img folder and uh, in that we have this image so i'm using vs code so i can just type exclamation and press tab and i'll get this basic html5 boilerplate so here we will title it as gt coding and uh, we will add our style.css file over here and we will add the script file before the body tag ends now we're gonna need uh, two more things in our head section so we'll go to our uh, browser and uh, and we'll go to fontawesome.com and click on start using free and copy this line of code from here and we'll paste it right here and we'll also need a font from google fonts so here we'll go to google fonts and we will search for the font we want so the font is called railway and uh, we'll click on this add icon and we'll go to customize and we'll select regular 400 and black 900 so these are the two font styles that we want so just go to embed and uh, copy this line of code and we'll paste it in our uh, HTML now we have to create two different headers one for the desktop version and one for the mobile version so first of all we'll create a division to contain the desktop header so we will give it a class of header container and in that we'll have a header and here we will have a division called heading and we will have an h1 and we'll type gt coding over here now we'll also give a container for different elements to uh, restrict the max width so we will give a container division over here now we'll create a division with a class name of menu items and in that we will give the same container class 
and we'll create a division called menu and we will have some uh, allies over here home and I'll just duplicate this three more times and uh, after the division here we'll create another division with the class name of social so here we will have a ul for our social media icons and in the first li we need to have the search icon so we'll also give it a class of search icon desktop and here we will add our font or some icon so we'll give it a class of fas and fa search so let me just open this in my browser to see whether we have everything right so this is what we have in our page as of now now we'll create another list item and uh, we will give it an anchor tag and uh, here we will give the icon for facebook fab fa facebook and uh, just copy this two more times and uh, here we will type twitter and here we will type instagram so here are our icons now we'll create the search box for the desktop version so here we'll create a division with a class name of search box desktop and we will have a form and in here we'll have an input with the type of text and we'll give it a placeholder search here so that's it with our desktop header so here we have our heading the nav items the search icon and the social media icons and here we have the search box now let's start with the mobile version of our header so here we will create a division with the class name of mobile header and here we will create another header element and here we will create a division with the class of menu icon now here we will have our font or some icon so we will give it a class of fs fa bars so here is the icon and then we will have another division with the class of heading and we will have an h1 we will type gt coding then we will create a division with the class of search icon and here we will create the search icon and we will also create an icon for closing the search box so we will type times so these are the icons now we will create a division for the mobile menu items so outside our main division over here we will create another division with the class name of mobile menu items and we will have some list items over here and then we will create another division for our mobile search box We will have a form and uh, we will have an input box. We will have a placeholder with search here. So that's it for the mobile header. So we have this desktop header over here and we have our mobile header. Now we will just create a main element to include our text. So we will type main and we will have a division of container s2 will type something over here in a paragraph we will have some lorem ipsum text we'll just copy this and uh, paste it a couple more times and uh, we will have an image over here so for the source we will type img technology.png So this is our full markup. Here we have the desktop header, here's the mobile header and uh, here we have our main section. So that's it with the markup. In the next video we will start styling our page so that it will look just like this. And after that we will add some JavaScript to 
add and remove some classes to make this animation happen so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day